guys welcome to saturday's video it is a happy day do you ever wake up in the morning and you're kind of grouchy and kind of groggy and you can't kind of wake up yeah that did not happen to me today today i woke up with so much energy i've been so kind to everybody and they're like what is wrong with you i was singing wasn't i singing sam yeah, i don't singing. know i'm like what in the heck is wrong with you but anyway today is a happy day hopefully today we are having date day like most people go out at night why can't we go out at night and have a date night i mean there's covid and we're too busy yeah we edit at night we work at night we we we, we both work at night people don't probably see that we don't show that but yeah we're busy at night so instead we have date day we have abandoned the children they're at home happy happy to be at home and Sam and I are going for coffee and then we're gonna I mean I don't drink coffee but I might have a little bit of coffee today we are gonna get our shop on which is my favorite thing do you like shopping I know but like that's the problem <laughs> when you finish shopping and you haven't finished your budget and suddenly even if you do finish your budget for Christmas you still shop like you should never finish shopping early because then you just keep shopping and shopping and shopping so that's what's happening to us today we are going to Green Hawk like it's starting to snow it's gonna be a glorious snowy amazing day and as we're traveling to the store I just want to leave you with this. Go out there and find your miracle today. People keep telling me, oh my gosh, I started seeing hearts. Now that you tell me that you see hearts all the time, I see them all the time. It's true. There are signs out there for every single one of us. They can be numbers. They can be, it can be anything. We either don't see them because we don't pay attention. We see them and then we just write them off as being a coincidence or we don't believe that they are truly signs. But go out there and find your signs today and comment below the signs that God's been giving to you. That he is there, he is listening to you, and he is working his hardest to make all your dreams come true. Okay, so first stop is another green hawk. This is a green hawk close to our house. We've never been here before. I'm super excited. I love the pictures that they always have. This is so cool. Never seen a green hawk with like a, one of these boards. Oh my gosh, it's huge in here. Hello. It's amazing. Look at that. They have other blankets up there. The green are so pretty. Right. I can't even buy my kids like because they have so much. I don't know what they have. Nice colors though. These are nice. Oh, these are cute. Sophie wants yellow for Daisy. Super cute. I find the house. You guys know how they have like a Schleich house? A big farmhouse? If I find that, I'm buying it. Ooh. A5. Uh, yeah. Size 10, Oster. Go get our things out of the car. <laughs> yeah, it's an Oster. That's cute. They have this whole book section, which is super cute. I love it. Horse riding instructor. That's a sign, you guys. These are really cool. This is a nice coloring book. I'm really trying to talk myself out of buying this barn for Sophie because we, I, we, each of the girls have the exact amount of presents, equal presents, and I don't like messing it up. But she really wants Schleich, and I didn't really buy her any Schleich. I know it's Farm World, but they all still work together. It's a different kind of barn. It's like a hay barn. 129. I was hoping it would be like $300. That'd be better, easier to resist. <laughs> Keep looking. I have some stuff on my I just list. Left the thing on the machine. All right, so that works. Yeah, it's okay. $35 blade. Yeah. So is that the right shape size that we yeah, need though? Right on the sonnet. No. Oh, she already put it on. Yeah. No, I mean like length. Oh. Don't know. Oh my God. Oh. I want something like that of our horses. I need our photographer to come back. Then they even have like a massive briar section here. So that's the Schleich section. This is the briar section. Yeah, Sam's gonna buy her a new barn. Oh, so they actually have like a bunch of different ones though, Sam. Yes, but that's the only one that they buy. Oh, good call. Look at these bit warmers. So you heat them up and then they... Do they? That's the kind of mug I want to make with our horses' pictures on it. Could you make a mug like that in our store? 
because you don't know how or you just can't do it? Oh, a snow skirt? Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yeah, you, you put it on you, so it's like... It goes all the way back. Yeah, it's like wearing a blanket. And then you zip it up when you don't want to use it anymore. Use it that's skirt. cool, it's like an alternative to snow pants. That's neat. I think Brooklyn would die to have that saddle pad and those bell boots. So you guys remember that we have all those halter equestrian shirts. They're the shirts that my kids wear all the time. They have them at Greenhawk now. They have the jumper shirt and the hunter shirt. Penny needs a new salt leg. Penny a needs a salt. new salt leg. Sam be taking care of my girl. She is. I know she did. She, she got mad and she tossed it on the ground. But look at this. What do you guys think about these unbelts? I really want one because Is it suspenders? no, it's an unbelt. You put it in your riding pants, and it's a belt. And then when you take your pants off and wash them, you leave the belt on them and wash it with the belt oh. on, which is good for lazy kids. So these would be good for Santa to bring for stocking. All right, so people are telling me that I need to get an eye wash for Penny. So your job is to look for a salt lick and eye wash. I maybe ask the lady. They got a lot of grooming products. Holy heck. Smile, you're on camera. Um, so, tell me what you think. Sam said you want blue or brown. What brown do you think? For winter. Brown for winter. I believe that too. I also am getting this shirt from the Halter Equestrian line for a friend. This is a mud shield powder. Waterproofing powder. You put the it on your... Waterproofing powder which protects the horse's legs against mud and water. That's super cool. You need this. Don't need that, but look at that syringe. Now that. That is a horse side syringe. Oh, look at that grooming bag. I like coming without the girls. It's so much nicer. A grooming box. Like that is cool. So it's got the side thing, which is nice. It's got the step stool, which is nice. This is cute. I don't know what this is for. Okay, so at the other Greenhawks, they had those rubber bell boots that Gabby vetoed, but I think that Gabby should get them for Storm. They're well, right there. there. We need a large. They don't have black, do they? No, they only have that color. This color? Yeah. So, also, Sam asked about eye wipes. What did she say about wet wipes? I didn't have any. What are these? I'm going to ask her. Because this might be better. So, we'll get those. They only have the one, and they usually have black, but... No, they only have that color in those. No, I'm sure I saw black before. I'm sure you did not. Okay, I'm going to ask, but what the heck are these? It kind of look like something to put in your bra and make your boobs bigger. All right, so for anybody who thinks that Sam's not going to use our barn setup where we put the couches there. This is a comfy chair, though. Yeah, we need comfier furniture for our barn. So, sadly, I have to restrain myself because at our house, Christmas is always about equal presents and equal try to be equal at our house so all my grandkids get the exact same amount of presents to open and my kids all get the exact same amount hey, um, i don't get the same amount yeah you and i don't get the same amount because we just buy our own stuff anyway so i couldn't buy sophie that barn that barn i wanted to you guys so what i ended up getting there was the halter jumper shirt i have this myself you guys saw it before i love this shirt I and mean, we bought it for a friend it's for Paige. I'm not going to lie. It's for Paige. We bought it for Paige because she sometimes goes in our videos and she's really kind and she's part of our barn family and we all love her and so I wanted to just give her a little something for Christmas. And then for Gabby, I bought this. It's called Cryogen X. It's for Oster A5 size 10. Size 10? I don't know if that's the right size. It's 35 bucks. The only size that fits are clippers. Um, so now she can clip Chino but I don't know if this is long. Like I think this is too long. I think it's fine. It's the only one we could get. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it's gonna make a difference. Gabby's been dying to clip Chino. We have, this is our old clipper system. It's got just a cord. I know they have like cordless ones out there that are easier, but we're gonna try this one. It's not too noisy. And I'm gonna just bring an extension cord to the barn and Gabby's gonna clip her boy. And then Sam made me get, which I was happy to buy, Henny uh, Trace Mineralized Stock Salt thing. So in what I've always believed is that you buy brown ones that have the minerals in it. 
for winter and then you buy the just plain salt ones for summer so this is what she's getting in herself this is what she's getting for christmas you guys we are in costco now and look at this bad boy this is a frame you cover it with snow and then you make a snow fort and the snow fort won't collapse on you because it's built on this frame our kids will love that so for somebody who already finished christmas shopping this happened i uh, know this happened this actually happened you guys Basically, before I couldn't find, I'll explain. I'll explain at the car. So essentially, Brooklyn asked me for this for Christmas, and so I said I would buy it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to order it online. Well, that is not gonna work. I ended up getting Jacob this because I couldn't find something else for him, and I love this. I needed another present for Aria, and she's a baby. What do you buy a baby? So I got her pajamas. I bought raspberries because raspberries are life. I bought Gabby's bread, and I bought pies because it's Christmas. Pies are Christmas. Back to the LOL camper. I had to order it online and they didn't have it on a in Amazon. They didn't have it anywhere in Canada online. So I had to order it from Amazon in the States. So it's shipped and, it's, and I had to pay double the price. So it's shipped, it's coming to me, but it might not get here for Christmas. It's supposed to get here a week before Christmas, but I feel nervous, so I bought another one. If the other one comes in, I'll return this one, get my money back, but then I'm guaranteed to have Brooklyn's dream present for Christmas. And then everything that I bought for baby Jack, Nick picked out, his dad picked out, and all of it was cheap Walmart toys, which is, doesn't matter how much you spend, but I wanted him to have something special, something amazing, something that I wanted him to have, something from my heart and from Sam's heart, so we got him this. And then Sam bought this for Sophie because her phone cord, charging cord, keeps breaking and she asked us to get it. And then he also bought us windshield wipers and chocolate for his work. And I found a heart in the car when I got in. Sam also bought us lunch. And this is what I got. This is something that is Canadian. It is called poutine. This is huge. This is huge. This is poutine. It's basically french fries and gravy and cheese curd on top of it and it is amazing normally i don't eat french fries because they're not very good for you and normally i don't eat gravy and normally i don't eat cheese curd but all together on a date day with my hubby who's eating pizza is worth it all right we are home and we unloaded all of our good stuff gabby what have you been doing this whole day on my phone on your phone have you been enjoying your day mm -hmm. That is for dad's work, all those chocolates. Don't mind the mess. Should we show them what we bought the puppies? This is what we bought the puppies for Christmas, you guys. Isn't it adorable? Sophie saw it in Costco online and she wanted it so bad. Ruby's getting the horse. They hear squeaks. They squeak. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Daisy's getting the cow. Daisy's getting the cow. Molly's getting the pig. Because Gabby's sign is the golden pig. Anyway, have you been enjoying your day off to do nothing? I'm still in PJs. Sophie's still in her PJs. She's got her Christmas PJs on with her Target butt. Sophie got a new cord for her, six foot one. for her charger. She's so excited because hers wasn't working. And now my home can be in my room. Now she can lay in bed with a 10 foot cord. Gabby got the six foot cord for all, cord for all the people who think Gabby gets all the stuff and Sophie gets nothing. Sophie got the 10 foot cord. It's because I didn't ask for it. Sophie got the coveted cow for her puppy. Oh, old. Hi, Grace. Hi, crazy girl. So I keep on saying that Penny's not happy. And I, I don't mean that she's not happy. I think that she's the happiest I've ever seen her in my whole entire life. Okay, we've only had her for a couple of months. There's probably a little more there, Sam. But I think she is happy. She is a happy horse. A hundred percent. The only reason I say that, Sam, are you got the door? Hi, Ben. You're a little muddy. I'm coming down to brush you in a little bit. Uh, the only reason I say she's not happy is because of that. But that is not her being unhappy. You guys have five million pines of hay out there. I'm not giving you any more. No more hay. They can go clean up that hay. You can go clean up that hay. Oh my goodness. Look at your face. <laughs> She's like, don't look at my face. Don't let go there, but Let's not give them any more. They just like sit here and wait for me to bring them more hay. Don't even eat the old stuff. That means we're feeding them too much. If you guys want hay, go out there and eat the rest of it. Um, anyway, Penny is happy. 
She is a boss mare out of all of our herd and she takes her job seriously and that is why I say she's not happy because she always looks unhappy when she's with the other horses. When the farrier was here yesterday, man, it was obvious how happy she is and she's feeling like alive and at home and like she's in charge. You're not in charge, Missy. You gotta let them have some love too. We're gonna come back. We're gonna go do a little bit more shopping and then we're gonna come back. I'm going to groom her. I don't know if I'll ride her today. I want to ride her. Let's take a bite. I'll back up so I can give the ponies some. Be nice. We are a sharing family. Hey, be nice, Penny. You go. Here, Gracie. Nobody fight when I'm in here. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie Pants. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You are frozen. Hello. Anyways, I believe she is happy. I believe she's as happy as she's ever been. I also hope that having the chiropractor here will make a big difference too. Oh my gosh, you got dirtier. You got more dirty. Whew. It is nighttime now. The girls have been playing video games all day. All day, but you know what? That's what being a kid is all about. All I know is that it is cold out today. So a few days ago I posted about like where is our vlog going? Like what's gonna be different for us? Like what what's the next chapter for day by day? Then I had a dream after I posted that. I've been dreaming. I've been dreaming you guys. And I think I know where we're headed next. I think I've got it all figured out. Hold on. Hold on. Are you gonna walk in? Are they walking in? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Watch out, Rubes, Molly. Right, let the littles in first is my favorite thing. My favorite part of the day. So look at how good she is. This is how smart my pony is. She gets spooked when Sam closes the doors. So she, wa she waits for him to be finished. Come on. Aww. <laughs> She's so polite. She's such a good pony. She's such a dirty pony. Yeah, you walking slow? It's so, so cold out there. I'm gonna give her a brush. Because your face is covered and you guys know that she loves, Oh, look at her. She's like, you got any treats? I always have treats for Penny. I had this dream the other day and I realized that I've had this dream before and I never understood it, but I'm pretty sure you guys, I'm pretty sure that we open a riding school and make it, we hire instructors and a bar manager and it's like a business thing for us, not just like a, a not just like our home. That's what I dreamed. I dreamed that we open a riding school, a school where kids can come and be kids. When we first went to Fiona's, Fiona told me that when she was a young girl, she never had friends to ride with. And it was her dream to have a place that girls could just come, kids could just come and ride and spend time together and play. And you guys all know that I am about kids playing with horses, learning and playing and, and bonding with them. I loved Fiona's dream. And after I had my dream, the other night, I realized that I would love to make that happen too. I would love to have a place that is different from all the rest of the riding school. The riding school where kids had more opportunity. But back before we bought Storm and we had Sabrina, I had tried to find more riding opportunities for my girls and it was impossible. I know a lot of you guys feel the same way, that I think access to horses can be really difficult. It can be really expensive. It can be hard to have time in a barn. And I wanna try and have a barn where people feel comfortable and safe. I want it to be a place for kids. That's what I think that we're going. That's where I think we're going. That's where I think we're headed. I dreamed a barn, this big beautiful barn that we buy that's already kind of a riding school. I, I dreamed it. I think that's where we're going, guys. I think we're buying a riding school. All right, Penny. Penny is done. Her blanket has been destroyed. Every morning that I've come down here since we've owned her, since we owned the blanket, she's looking beautiful, but not anymore. Now it's dirty. Good night, Pen. I put her new salt lick in there. You got your new salt lick? 
I'm gonna check the ponies and see if they have salt licks. You do not have salt lick. And you do not have salt lick. We will get you guys a salt lick, okay? Don't you worry. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Tomorrow we will be back at it and uh, Chino's getting a whole makeover. Comment below if you'd like to see a day-by-day -day riding school, a school where everyone is accepted for who they are. Anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way